Abbott week. It's done. It was great. I, I aced it pretty much. I, I stuck to the, the, the uh, dietary changes that I had anticipated making. And uh, except for day one without caffeine, which was like literally me in bed going through caffeine withdrawal, which let me tell you, I've never gone through any kind of withdrawals before. And this was like super sucky. But after that, it was great. Um, more and more energy every day. And I learned two really cool things that I want to share with you because I guess there were things that maybe I knew on like a cognitive level before, but I didn't like know on like a, I guess like understanding level, if that makes sense. Yeah, I didn't like, I hadn't like integrated the knowing into my body. And if you hear noises, it's my cats. They're kind of wacko and chasing each other right now. So the first thing is about willpower. Willpower to me is like that self-discipline where you know how to override your own kind of brain chatter and what your brain tells you you want to do something that you know you need. And I noticed that brain power, no, I noticed that willpower was like a muscle. And the more I exercised it, like the more powerful it became to the point where I like had extra willpower, I suppose, because how that manifested for me was I, I started off doing this 30 day challenge with uh, which was like dietary, um, going to strict carnivore, which I know is a diet that feels good for me, which includes no caffeine. And I started to have like extra willpower and like the urges to do other habits that I have kind of failed at integrating uh, in the recent past, um, meditating every day, going for walks almost every day, a cold shower exposure. I can't even remember the other ones, but there was like a bunch of them. And I kept like finding that I like was doing these spontaneously. And I think it's because by exercising that willpower, I was just like, I, I had more and more of it and I could spare some extra energy and throw it this way and throw it that way. And I was able to just do all these things and it didn't feel like a chore. It didn't feel like I was like, you know, roping myself into it. It was just like, oh, I'm in the shower. Might as well turn it cold now just like count to 30, breathe, and like tell myself that I'm not my body, you know? And so I was able to do that and it was great and yay. Um, the second thing was, okay, it's a bit more nebulous. It's more, you may have heard that in motivation, there are two ways to motivate a person. There's something you're running from and there's something you're running towards. So it's like the lion chasing you or like the cat or like maybe in my case, like the piece of chocolate cake dangling in front of you. So those are like the two ways. And I found that there was like another level to that because when I read 30 Days, Change Your Habits, Change Your Life by Mark McClough, he really focused on purpose and how if you know your purpose and you kind of line up your habits to like push you towards who you're trying to become, they're actually gonna be successful. And I found that by kind of incorporating that way of thinking into my week and like, the way that I ended up seeing these habits was that they were evidence that that person that I've told myself I'm like want to be in five years is like starting to exist now. Like I was giving myself concrete evidence that I can do that because of the habits and like the trail of habits that I was kind of adopting along the way. Like it's possible. I'm closer to being that person now. And that felt like more than just like the carrot, no, the carrot <laughs> or the, or the lion. It felt like, it felt like like almost growing upward instead of you know forward backward it was like a whole extra plane it was almost like a 3d version of that uh, analysis or something so i thought that was really neat and i wanted to share that with you um so this has been a really good week for me i i'm feeling really encouraged and i hope that you are were lucky in your 30-day challenge whatever you chose and in your week of potentially like reevaluating your habits and i have something that i'm planning for next week uh, i will release that video in a couple of days after i shoot it and finish researching it but uh, i'm excited for next week too it's something that i've also been needing and wanting to do and i'm excited to share it with you so thank you for watching and you'll catch me on Instagram more regularly than here and also in my next video posted on Monday. So thank you so much. I will see you soon. How come you guys were so noisy during my video? Hey? Eh?